Hello folks, this is Ben Gilbert here with Engadget, and we have the final version of NVIDIA's Project Shield, which is now just known as NVIDIA Shield. It's an Android-powered handheld gaming device uh, that also streams PC games. It's also a Tegra 4 device, and it's the first uh, directly from NVIDIA to feature the, uh, the Tegra 4 which is their uh, new uh, mobile processing unit. So it's got a Tegra 4, which uh, features a quad core and two gigabytes of RAM. It's also got 16 gigabytes of storage out of the box. It's expandable via SD in the back, uh, which is expandable up to 64 gigs if you are a crazy person and have a ton of stuff to store. Uh, and the screen up top that we're moving around to show you that is a 5-inch IPS 1280 by 720 display. Uh, it's a retinal display, not a retina display for uh, obvious copyright reasons. Uh, there's also two very nice speakers up front, uh, a microphone up top, and a kind of standard controller set up here. There's two dual analog sticks that are parallel to each other. These have been a little bit changed from what we saw at CES. The wells are a little bit deeper. Uh, the D-pad is raised a little bit more. It's a little bit more like an Xbox 360 gamepad. Uh, and uh, otherwise, the buttons are pretty similar to what we saw before. There's a uh, Tigra button in the middle that takes you to the Tigra zone. Uh, which is where you will see various games that are optimized for Shield, games that you can buy off of Google Play, and it's also how you're going to access the, uh, the PC game streaming option. Uh, and if we go back to the home screen, which is the standard Android home button here, it just brings us back to a uh, standard Jelly Bean 4.2.1. Um, inside, for more internals, there is a 27.1 watt-hour battery. Uh, it's got uh, 802.11 uh, MIMO Wi-Fi, which is uh, apparently even better than uh, just having a wide array of ABGY, uh, ABGNN. Um, there is a uh, Bluetooth 3.0. It's got GPS functionality. Uh, there is, on the back in terms of ports, the same micro uh, USB and mini HDMI out that we saw, as well as a, uh, a standard 8th inch uh, headphone jack, which can also be used for a microphone if you want to use a uh, headset with a microphone built in. Uh, and this plate over here can be removed. As you see, they'll be selling them separately for $19.99. And the other news aside from the fact that this is final hardware is that this, uh, this will be shipping uh, in late June. So pre-orders begin on May 20th uh, through the, the NVIDIA website uh, and through various retailers like GameStop and, uh, and uh, Newegg and the kind of standards that you're used to. Uh, and it'll be shipping for $349.99, uh, which is... Uh, you know, a lot to ask, but it does kind of a lot of things. This is being touted as a portable audio device with the, the, the fancy speakers. It's being touted as an Android device, as something you can play your, uh, your PC games on via streaming. That is only going to work if you have a uh, GTX uh, 650 or higher uh, GPU uh, so that you can stream things. Otherwise, uh, things get a little dicey. But uh, this will, again, be shipping in the, uh, the next few months. We'll hopefully have a full review for you up sooner than that. Uh, there's also going to be a case available, as you see here. That's $19.99. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. So we'll, uh, we'll have more on NVIDIA's Shield in the coming months. Thanks very much.